dig three feet down. He got a lot more done than I did. A bit of growth on the plant. Hey, what's up Aquamigos? So we've come quite a far away with the pond build so far. Check this out. In my last pond build video, I leveled out all the cement for the foundation for my retaining wall. So all that cement is leveled out. And then I kind of stacked up some cinder blocks right here so we could kind of see how tall my cinder block wall is going to be. So that's it right there, two cinder blocks tall. And today we're finally going to start digging out the middle. My goal is to dig three feet down into the ground and it's going to be a ton of work I'm definitely not going to be able to finish it in this video but we're definitely going to get started and see how much we can get done and before we get started I think I need to tighten some bolts on my wheelbarrow because it's feeling a little bit wobbly so I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this thing over and check it out yeah check that out guys I gotta tighten all these bolts Much better. All right guys, so we're just about ready to get started. However, I'm going to mix things up a little today and I'm going to do three shout outs right now. I have a shout out for Sleepy Girl ZZZ, a shout out for TPW Has Puppies, and a shout out for New England Abandoned Mysteries and Histories. Thank you guys so much for being Aquamigos. I really appreciate it. And let's start digging this pond. We got some help with us today. We got longtime family friend Paul coming to help us dig. Alright guys, so we've gotten quite a bit done. If you look back here, especially in Paul's section, he got a lot more done than I did. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm running the wheelbarrow. <laughs> and I'll take this opportunity to do three more shout outs for today's video. I have a shout out for j -Ro Ortega, The Seer Family, and Twisted Koi. Thank you guys so much for being Aquamigos. I really appreciate it. If any of you would like a shout out in my next pond build video, all you have to do is go down to the comments below and comment, I am an Aquamigo, and I'll shout you out in my next pond build video. And let's continue. Okay guys, so Paul just left, but this is what we got done today. Check this out. I'm really happy with what we got done today. If you check out the side that Paul was working on, he actually got a lot deeper than I got on my side over there. Like, check this out. We're like, we're pretty far down. I mean, we're probably like a foot down right here. My side, we're probably like, I don't know, maybe like six inches down or so. And then I kind of need to figure out a better way to manage the dirt that we're digging up. It's all kind of ending up right here. 
so I'll probably shovel some more down the hill. It was also really hot today, so I try to only come out here and do work on the pond after the this area gets shade. And on the cooler days, you know, I'll definitely take advantage of those cooler days and try to get some more work done. But I think if we keep this pace up, we should be done in no time. And by no time, I mean, well, not no time, but before you know it. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and take one more look at what we did today. And let's take a look at these guys. Already fed them. <laughs> and as the temperature gets hotter, you know, the, the water level drops much quicker. The water evaporates so much quicker now that we're in the summer. All right guys, so I'm not sure how much you were actually able to see in there. The water always gets a bit cloudy when I add new water. But anyways guys, that's gonna be just about it for this video. I'm just going to go ahead, give you guys a quick update on the aquariums. Some of you have expressed that you like when I do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. If you guys saw my last aquarium update, basically like nothing has really changed. Maybe there's some new fry, maybe the plants have grown a bit. But aside from those two things, like nothing has really changed. Yeah, besides, like I said, a bit of growth on the plants, some new fry. I'm pretty sure this arrow plant definitely grew a bit since the last time I did an aquarium update. And last but not least, the 20 gallon. All looking pretty good. So that's gonna be just about it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. There's a lot of work ahead of us. I think Paul is actually going to be helping me a lot with the digging of this pond. So Paul, if you're watching this, thank you so much. You're a huge help. And as usual, if you did like this video, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. If you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notifications button. Oh, we got Rico right here. Where are you going, Rico? If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.